Welcome back to Korean Mode. This is episode 16. This is the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and the finale of season 1. A lot on the line here today. The championship between Rosberg and Hamilton and more importantly to us, third place between ourselves and Sebastian Vettel. Right now, anyway, we got to focus on qualifying. Q3 as per usual and as actually this qualifying lap gets underway. I want to ask you guys, put down in the comments, I'm going to leave this go on for a week or so. Do you want a season 2? And do you want me to change teams so that maybe I, instead of racing for McLaren for another year, I go to a different team or would you rather me do another season with McLaren? Or would you rather me even continue on this series and do a new one? The choice is up to you. Leave it down to you in the comments. Because, you know, I want to do what's best for you. I, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying doing this series, don't get me wrong. But if you're not enjoying it and you want to see a change, there's no problem with that. I mean... I will be happy to change it, but anyway, Abu Dhabi, a track I really, really, really do like. This is a fun track to drive around. I don't know, there's something about the long straights and the and the chicanes that just makes it so interesting to drive around. And as you can see, anyway, the AI, the AI is somewhat slow around it because Massa was quite a bit off us at the beginning of the lap. He's now just like over a second ahead of us, but that doesn't matter. That's uh, this is qualifying. But of course, this uh, this is a bit of a dusk race. This race does go from day to night. Unfortunately, I would I was going to do a 50% race to end the series, to, to end season one, but uh, I didn't have time to do it. So maybe maybe next year, or if you want next year, I could go up to 50% races. It's up to you. The choice is yours. As I said, anyway, we're going to come across the line. Hamilton's down uh, 145.9. We're going to do a 146.2, which is enough for third place on the grid, meaning we are ahead of Vettel. As we head into the race tomorrow and now now of course because you know three-day weekend let's take a look at this grid for the final time Hamilton leads from Rosberg, Softies, Vettel, Ricardo, Alonso, Raikkonen, Massa, Bottas, Perez, Hulkenberg, Button, Kvyat, Verne, Grosjean, Sutil, Maldonado, Gutierrez, Kobayashi, Bianchi, Chilton and Ericsson in last place that is a good grid Hamilton qualifies ahead of Rosberg that's what he needs if I remember rightly Hamilton's, uh, Hamilton's two points behind Rosberg and there's double points to play for in Abu Dhabi so it means everything to play for that means that is why third place is now even scarier for me because I could lose it due to double points in the same way that Rosberg could lose that championship due to double points but here we go on the grid button in 12th myself in third we're gonna line up for the final time on this grid this is gonna be an emotional one it's gonna be emotional four lights Five lights! Lights down, away we go, over the over there, we And we get off to a pretty good start. Rosberg going wide, not getting off to the best of starts. We're going to try and get him into turn one. As we are, Hamilton gets a, an insanely bad wide line there. Heading out of turn one, we're side by side with Hamilton. We have taken the lead of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Heading into turn two, we are in the lead. And now, now this is what we need. Hamilton is in second place just behind us. As it goes, he will win the World Championship. We, meanwhile, will definitely take home third place. We've just got, to quite, just got to try and stay here for the rest of the race, not get overtaken. And, well, if everything goes well, we could pull out the win here. Down this back straight that I love. You just go so fast down here, and it's just great. And as you can see, because we're ahead by a little bit already, I'm going to put in lean mix to save some fuel. There's this kink in the straight that I got confused by in qualifying one. Went off the track a little bit. Through the chicane, as you can see, I break a little late, but a good start. We are in the lead of this Grand Prix, and we retained our lead all the way to lap six, as you can see now. Vettel just behind us. Hamilton, however, still in third, but I think Rosberg has stopped. We're going to go for the pits now, slowing down the fuel mixture. Of course, you know you know that by now. Saving fuel, got to do what you got to do. Now, the thing is, a little bit of our front wing came off when we tapped the wall, and I know they're going to have to replace it. Is this going to be bad for us? Um, yes it is. We are going to come up behind, ha oh my god, Anna Ferrari. That's bad. And hang on. Hang on a minute. We've got the wrong tyres on. If you look, everyone ahead of us has got the option tyres, the white wall, the prime tyres, the white wall tyres. We're still on the orange wall, or the yellow wall tyres. We have to use both compounds in this. Otherwise, we get disqualified, and we're only on. And we've only used one compound right now, and it isn't exactly going to rain in Abu Dhabi anytime soon, is it, TMT Martin? 
Just saying. Um, but now we've got to try and just put in the best as lap as we can. We've got to try and take over everyone possible. And just try and retake the lead. We, if we can't retake the lead in our pit stop. Because we're going to have to pit again. If we don't pit again. We are screwed. We are going to get disqualified. We're going to get zero points. And Vettel's going to take home third place. We have to do everything possible to retake the lead. Get a good enough lead ahead of it. So when we go for our next pit stop. We won't be out in the lead. There's no way we can get like 25 seconds ahead. Just so long as we're within them. That we can come out in a good enough position and work the last few laps for that overtake. Speaking of overtakes, there's a nice one on Hamilton down the inside, squeezing them off through the chicane, corner cutting that a lot. And Vettel now the main rival of this season ahead of us. Like I said, it was Ricardo, but Ricardo we just overtook him after like the US Grand Prix and now it's just been Vettel, the former the now former world champion, I'm gonna call him. And there we are on the inside overtaking Vettel. Because, of course, Vettel cannot win the championship, but I can't win the championship. Vettel can't win the championship. That's a wall where I knocked off a bit of my front wing. Thankfully, this time we get very close to it. But, I didn't knock it off. And now we're going to come around the final turn. Are we going to be able to come back out in the lead? I can see on the mini-map some people making their way out to the pits underneath that bridge that I love driving around. We're going to come out in second. Uh, Rosberg's in the pits. We're in the lead. We've retaken the lead, which is good for us. But now, now we have to put the pedal down and get ahead of these guys. We have to just drive away. There's no other alternative. We have to just get as far away from them as we can. We're a second ahead right now, considering we only took Vettel only about 30 seconds ago. That's good. Lap 10 now. Here we go. Time for the pit stop. Hamilton in second. Rosberg in third. Hamilton looking like he's going to win the championship. But now we've got a pit. This is a nerve-wracking point in the race. We're not going to come out in the lead. But where are we going to come out? Are we going to come out anywhere near Vettel is the main point. There we go, white wall tyres. They should have been put on laps ago. Hamilton takes the lead. Rosberg right behind him. There goes Vettel. There goes Alonso. And there goes Massa. We're going to come out in 6th. I don't think Perez is going to overtake us. I think we're just enough ahead of him to retain 6th position. There we go. Yep, we're fine in 6th position. But now, as you can see, the top 5 ahead of us. We're not looking to win this race. As I said, we're looking to overtake... Sebastian Vettel, and I can see him ahead of me. He's in second place right now. Something went wrong with Rosberg or Hamilton's car. And there we are, sort of squeezing out mass of the, a lap later on. Well, a few laps later on, lap 12. Retaking fifth position now down this back straight. Three cars. Alonso, a Mercedes, I believe it's Rosberg. And uh, Sebastian Vettel all the way up in second. But now, anyway, as we can see, we're coming down the straight. We don't have DRS, of course, but Massa has DRS behind us. But he was unable to overtake us. We're now going to go through the chicane. There's Alonso. We've got to try and gain on them as much as we can. This is a nerve-wracking point. Here we go. Two laps to go now. Lap 13. Whoever that is in the lead is a Mercedes. Has really driven away. Vettel and I believe it's either... I think it's Rosberg are squabbling. Now we're going to go late on the brakes heading into this turn. We're right behind Alonso and Vettel. And of course that Mercedes, I'm not sure who that Mercedes belongs to, we're right behind Alonso right now, we're going to swim off every piece of DRS we can on him, going to try a dive bomb maneuver to get himself and Vettel, that Mercedes has driven away already, Alonso and Vettel going side by side through this turn, 3 wide heading into the turn, we have taken third place, and we have re overtaken Vettel, that means that if we hold on to this third place in the championship is ours, and that is what we need. And if you look at the map, and if you look at the thing in the corner, Hamilton's in second. That means Nico Rosberg has won the Drivers' World Championship for 2014. Hamilton comes home in second. We come home in third. And more importantly, third place in the championship in our first season. What a season it has been. The second half was just amazing. We pulled out so much with this McLaren car, and it was exactly what we needed. Fair play. It's been a, it was a close se end to the season, and I would have had it no other way. Anyway, here are the standings. Rosberg won from Hamilton, Softies, Alonso, Vettel. Vettel finished in fifth. Massa, Perez, Raikkonen, Button, Hulkenberg, Grosjean, Bottas, Kvyat, Gutierrez, Sutil, Verne, Maldonado, Bianchi, Kobayashi, Chilton, Marcus Ericsson, and Daniel Ricciardo retires again. Also, Roman Grosjean finished 11th. How about that? There it is. It's official. We finished 17 points ahead 
of Sebastian Vettel and Nico Rosberg won the Drivers' Championship by 14 points over his teammate. My monitor has just turned off and I can't see shit. There we go. But there we go. Third place in the Championship, fourth place in the Constructors. What a season this has been. And there we go. That ends Season 1. Thank you guys for watching through all of it. As I said, leave down in the comments if you want a Season 2 and what team you want me to race for. Or if you want me to stay in McLaren. There we go, guys. I'll see you next week for this series if you want it. Take care, guys. And ta -ra.